There, we're live. Oh, it does come up. Okay. So we'd call this uh, meeting to order. Um, would someone be willing to uh, read the acknowledgement for council? I could read that. Thanks, Councilor Pat. Uh, we acknowledge that we are in Treaty 6 territory, a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place, and traveling route to the Cree, Saltu, Blackfoot, Metis, Denny, and Nakuda Sioux. We acknowledge all the many First Nations, Metis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. Great job, Pat. Thanks. So okay. today is uh, Birmingham Town Council meeting, March 3rd, 7 p.m. We have uh, an addition to the agenda, I believe. Yes, Mr. Mayor. If we could add uh, 8.5, uh, very important proclamation, Meteorite Day, March 5th. Yes. March 5th, 4. It is on March 4th, according to the people. Oh, sorry. I, I always thought it was March 5th. Uh, I have to look that up. So uh, any other additions, deletions, or changes to the agenda? Okay, uh, look for a motion to adopt the agenda as amended. Thank you, Councillor Wayne. Make a motion to adopt the uh, agenda as amended. Okay, any comments, questions, or concerns with the agenda? I haven't heard none. Call for a vote. Anyone opposed to the motion? Hearing none, the motion is carried. Now we need a motion to go out of the public session and we will be going into a closed session for a while. Um, Mr. Mayor, may I just yep. ask a question of our Director of Development and Legislative? Um, Sherry, I don't see um, Mr. Steele on the call. He's not showing up on my screen, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing him either. I will go make a call and see what's happening. So should we just continue and then uh, go into the closed session when he gets it live there for us? That's a great idea, Mr. Mayor. If okay. council is all in agreement. Yeah, so we have consensus from council to keep moving forward until the person is available. Okay, great. That's uh, good news. So we'll move to uh, adopt the minutes of the February 17th meeting. Can someone make that motion. Thank you, Councillor Judy. Uh, I make a motion that we adopt the minutes of February 17th, 2021 regular meeting of council. Thank you for that motion, Councillor Judy. Anyone have any concerns, comments on the minutes from the last meeting? Not hearing any. Okay, uh, call for a vote. Anyone opposed to the motion to adopt the minutes from February 17th? And that motion is carried. So we'll carry on. I've not seen anyone just yet. So we'll go to council priorities, uh, information requests. So we'll start with the top left corner of my screen. That would be Councillor Lynn. Uh, nothing at this time. Okay. Councillor George. Nothing at this time. Councillor Pat. Uh, I have a couple of uh, uh, questions uh, that were brought up. Uh, when is the library opening? Uh, is it up to the library board to set that up? And how does how's that going to unfold? Do we know at this point? Mr. Mayor, through Councillor Lee, maybe Councillor Aleko, that is totally up to the library board based on this week's announcements for phase 2A. <laughs> yeah, Councillor Wayne had his hand up. Yeah. Right now, they're open up two days a week. Um, I'm going to say the dates and time wrong. I think it's Tuesdays from four to seven and Wednesdays from 12 till four, I believe. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure on the exact times, but they are reviewing to open up a bit more um, to allow people to come into the library. We're still talking about that after the uh, most recent announcement. Okay, so, right. so right now, cur curbside right now, Wayne, right? Currently curbside, yes. Um, Alrighty, I can get that back. And uh, another, another concern was, um, brought up concerning uh, the um, notice that was for water rationing and the individual I talked to had seen it on Facebook but had not gotten an alert. Now are the alerts for like a water main break, uh, they're going to be doing something at the, at, the at the plant with the system, like what is the criteria because this uh, individual said she is on the alert, but had not received it or so. 
So Mr. Mayor, through Councillor Lee, that's an excellent question. So when there's a risk of a water shortage to the community, we'll send out an alert. This was just a courtesy to please, it was going to be a short repair. So we weren't concerned that the reservoirs would below, fall below um, any sort of safe level for our community. This was just as a courtesy to the entire commission along the line to conserve water if possible. So the difference would be an alert would go out when, when there's a risk to community. So. It was more of a, please, please try your very best. That's why it just went on on social media. Okay, okay. So it hadn't gone through the alert, but it went to, uh, individuals mm -hmm. were aware and put it on the Facebook or whatever, right? Sort of thing? Yeah, so when there's, a, when there's a concern for the safety of our community, we use alert. So if that means we're doing snow removal or we're gonna do, um, you know, complete closure of roads or we feel that our Water. reservoir is dangerously close to being um, in an unsafe spot, then we'll put out mm -hmm. the alert. We don't wanna use the alert system so that people okay. start considering it white noise, right? Okay. All right. Good. Thanks. That answers the questions. Thanks. Thank you, Councillor Pat. Uh, anything else? That's it. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Judy. Um, yeah, I was at the library board meeting and I'm just pulling out my minutes and there was a few things that they wanted brought up. Um, they wanted support uh, for libraries to be re to reopen um, besides just the, just the curbside. They wanted them to open up uh, for support services in the rural. So um, Patty might be getting a letter with that, just kind of giving you an outline if we're in favor of it or not, and maybe we should put it on the program requests. Um, and then of course- we have the, support support services like? Uh, support services, um, photocopying, um, you know, getting all access to the computer, setting up resumes, that kind of stuff, because they're finding in the rule there's not that in every community that they can get their hands on, right? More and so. And is than the letter this, is the letter clear about that? Um, they're supposed to be sending one from okay from the library board for you. Okay. Okay. So I just thought I'd bring that one forward. I was going to email Wayne ahead of time, but I forgot to do that. Um, the other thing is we met the new executive director, James McDonald, um, for the library board. And I guess he's coming back. He was there 10 years ago and then progressed on and now he's coming back to run it. That's all I have for program request. Well. Thank uh, Councillor Wayne, did you have something you wanted to interject about the library? Yeah, no, not it. I just wanted to make mention that um, that did come across. That's part of the opening up that we, there was an email that came across today, um, earlier today, but there was concerns that there's only one door. So it'd be, they do, I guess recommendations have an in and out door, but we only have one door. So I'm not saying that it can't happen. There just has to be some other precautions taken into place. So we'll be looking at that before we open up to do um, that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully we will have some more information in the next week or two about that one. Thank you, Councillor Wayne. Anything else, Councillor Judy? No, that was everything. Okay, uh, Councillor Wayne. I got nothing. No. Okay, good. Uh, Deputy Mayor Dan. Got it. Um, <laughs> nothing for me to say. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, did anyone else have any other information requests? Um, I do have a couple things I wanted to inquire about. Um, I had gotten a call from a concerned uh, citizen about the ATB. Do we know when the ATB may be reopening? Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'll have to check on that. Okay. Um, I know that they posted, um, I did a little bit of inquiry and that they post on their website, the ones that are uh, closed for COVID. Uh, I don't remember seeing our community on there. So I was just uh, wondering if we could find out uh, what the status might be. And I believe um, the manager, Brenda, at the Lamont branch is also looking after the Bruderheim branch. So maybe that might help. Mm. And then the other inquiry I have is, um, it, I've, I've realized that uh, in our care, there's council representation from other councils. Um, our council is not represented. I know our administration is uh, uh, represented there. Is there an administration from other councils on in our care? And is there any benefit for our town to have a representative on in our care? I don't know, I wanted to make an inquiry. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, that's a great question. When I first got here, um, I noticed that as well. And council felt that administration, there is administration at those meetings. 
uh, probably more administration than there is um, elected officials. And there's different kinds of meetings. Um, there's the annual meeting, and then there's the regular meetings. So um, yeah, if council wants that, absolutely, we could add that to the committee list as well. Um, it was brought to my attention that more often than not, the Lamont County uh, rep is not present there, but there is, uh, I believe, Sturgeon County and um, Strathcona County councillors that attend that. So maybe uh, uh, <clears throat> we could get an invite uh, for our council and then just get a feel for if it's worth uh, having a council rep there. I don't know. Maybe for networking. I just wanted to throw that idea out there. If we could uh, maybe just uh, delve into that a little bit to see if it's worthwhile. And Councillor Judy had her hand up. Yeah, I went to that meeting. I think I ended up at a general meeting just because I was on that emergency management committee and I ended up going to one. I don't remember if there was any councillors there because I felt it was all administration and workers. Not a bad thing, but yeah, might be a good opportunity. Yeah, no, I, I had heard from uh, Councillor Smith that he attends uh, maybe the regular meetings. I don't know about the AGM, but I just yeah. wanted to put that out there and see uh, what comes back. So thank you for that. Um, is there any other uh, council information requests? If not, we'll move to program requests. And we'll go in reverse order. Deputy Mayor Daniel, do you have any uh, program requests? That is again, there we go. Um, nothing for me today at this time, thank you. Okay, uh, Councillor Wayne. Nothing at this time, thank you. Councillor Judy? Uh, nothing at this time. Uh, Councillor Pat? Nothing, thank you. Councillor George? Nothing at this time. Councillor Len? Nothing at this time. I have to note that I hear everyone loud and clear. It's working really good so far, knock on wood. Um, <laughs> so that's the council priorities. Um, do we have the other person on board or we just keep going? Um, Keep going, Mr. Mayor. I see he's accepted. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. So I think Sherry's trying to help him get on. Okay. So we'll move on to 8.1 bylaw 03 2021, Starlight Campground. Um, sorry, Mr. Mayor, multitasking. <laughs> no worries. Um, administration is requesting that council review this bylaw that established rules and regulations for the control and operation of the Starlight Campground RV park. The Town Council gives second reading to the Starlight Campground and RV Park 03-2021, a bylaw to establish rules and regulations for the control and operation of the Town of Bruderheim Campground and RV Park. The Town Council give third reading to Starlight Campground and RV Park bylaw 03-2021, a bylaw to establish rules and regulations for the control and operation of the Town of Bruderheim Starlight Campground and RV Park. From the time that the Town of Bruderheim took over the operations of once was previously known as the Victoria Trail Campground, the Bruderheim Ag Society campground and or the town of Bruderheim campground, the town of Bruderheim staff were responsible for the registration process of the campsite spaces, for collecting the revenues and for subsequent reimbursements, maintenance and operations. This consumes a lot of staff time to oversee through the months of April to October. Administration reviewed bylaw 03 2017, the campground bylaw for preparation of information that would be placed on the Camp Reservations Canada website for online booking for our campsite. Bylaw 03-2021 captures the changes that were needed to move this process forward. Town Council gave first reading of Bylaw 03-2021, the Starlight Campground RV Park on February 17, 2021. Strategic planning areas, opportunity to increase awareness of the Starlight Campground and RV Park for our industry partners, requiring accommodations for the contractors, tourism opportunities, an opportunity to increase awareness and use of the Starlight Campground and RV Park for tourism and events, in our community is educated on responsibilities and limitation of council. Other impacts, Municipal Government Act, RSA 2000, Chapter M26, Section 8, powers under bylaws. This new registration process will allow those bookings our campsites to go online directly, seeing what's available for sites, confirm the preferred location and dates, and pay for their invoice without having to contact the admin office to discuss this process. Previously, administration would confirm a location for a client, and when they arrived on site, somebody else would have taken that site, which led to many discussions and paperwork alterations to make the changes. Additionally, this new process, availability of sites for specific dates and times, is readily accessible to the consumers. The Town of Bruderham administration will receive monthly payments accompanied with reporting from Camp Reservations Canada. We can also access the site daily to view the status of our campground sites. These re those registering at the Starlight Campground and RV Park will be charged a $5 fee, which will remain with Camp Reservations Canada at the time of registration for accessing this online booking portal. Changes are highlighted on the new proposed bylaw. 
This new online booking for the Starlight Campground RV Park will be advertised on the Camp Reservations website and in the Go East publication, social media, town website, letters sent to past users of the campground and in the newsletter. And that's it, Mr. Mayor. Oh, he's muted. Yeah, apologize for that. So I um, was just looking for a motion for the second reading, uh, Councillor Wayne. Give second reading to the Starlight Campground and RV Park Bylaw 03-2021, a bylaw to establish rules and regulations for the control and operation of the Town of Brutham Starlight Campground and RV Park. Thank you for that, Councillor Wayne. Any comments, questions, or concerns with that motion? I think it was pretty thoroughly questioned uh, on the first reading. Um, I do have a question about the, the website that the bookings will be through. Um, that, that platform, uh, when they do updates, they're not doing them during the day, during the week, they're doing it in, in the evenings to not disrupt people. Is that the kind of thinking with those folks? And, and uh, is it a stable platform? We don't have to worry about uh, causing administration lots of grief looking after this or just kind of feeling that out a little bit. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, we did our research with the municipalities across BC. Actually, it's Western Canada, BC, Alberta, and Manitoba, Saskatchewan. Um, and all the municipalities were thumbs up, very helpful, and um, said that they, even during the pandemic, as you know, uh, campsites were opening and closing weekly, depending on the uh, orders of that province, health orders. And they said they did really well with that. So I think if anything was challenging, that would have been last year. So remaining hopeful. And again, uh, we're not committed. If it turns out to be more work than it's worth, uh, we can definitely pull away from this. Thank you very much. Any other comments, questions, or concerns from council with the motion on second reading? Um, refresh my worn out memory cells. Uh, how many uh, full service sites do we have at our campground again? 22, Mr. Mayor. 22. Hopefully they're all full this year. That'd be awesome. Okay, so not hearing any other questions, comments, or concerns, call for a vote. Anyone opposed to the motion for the second reading of this bylaw? Mm -hmm. And the motion's carried. Looks like our guest is here, Paul Steele. I see his name. Should we pause or should we go to the third reading and complete that? We should do the third on? reading, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, I was looking for CAO's. Uh, on that question. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, I think we could do the third reading as well, I okay. agree. So looking for a motion to uh, give the third reading to this bylaw, uh, Councillor Pat had their hand up. Um, I appreciate that Town Council give third reading to the Starlight Campground and RV Park Bylaw 03-2021, a bylaw to establish rules and regulations for the control and operation of the town of Bruderheim Starlight Campground and, and RV Park. Okay, that was the third reading. So, mm -hmm. uh, any comments, questions, or concerns? Thanks for the motion. Hearing none, call for a vote. Anyone opposed to this motion? And the motion's carried. So we can stop at 8.2. Now we'll be looking for a motion to go out of the public session and then the motion for the closed session. So who would be willing to make the motion for going out of the public session? Councilor Judy? Uh, I make a motion that we go out of the public session. Great, thank you. Any comments, questions, or concerns with that motion? Call for a vote. All those opposed? And hearing none, the motion's carried. So now we need a motion to go into the closed session. Councillor Wayne? Make a motion to go in, into closed session. Um, do you have the uh, paperwork? Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Um, thank you. Starts with 5.1 on the front page. Make there. a motion to go into closed session. Uh, Municipal Government Act, RSA 2000, Chapter M26, FOIP Section 21, Harmful Intergovernmental Relation. Attendees, Paul Steele, Town of Rudheim, Patty Fadarazny. Great. Thank you very much. Anyone opposed to that motion? And the motion's carried, and we are now in the closed session. Mr. Mayor, if you uh, just give me a moment to end yep. the Facebook Live. Sure. Absolutely. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs>